Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. This should be good. Did you see someone run past just now? Great. Thanks. Bastard stole from me. I'll catch him, though. I, <laughs> I love a challenge! Hide from me. True North never back down. something Guaranteed, Don't clean and out. free from Rostov. My, my food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elenir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. He showed me a way to grind up ice wraith teeth and use it as a preservative. It keeps everything cold and fresh, but only for a limited time. I'm always looking to replenish my supply. So, if you ever come across five of them, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Thanks. I was actually worried I'd run out. Well, I'd be careful if I were you. I hear the Nords hunt them for some kind of initiation rite, and not all of them end up victorious. The last traveler that traded me some said he found them at a place called Ancient's Ascent. Careful, though. Rumor has it a dragon makes its home there. They live below the streets in the ratway like dirty animals. And trust me, they're no better than the vermin that slink out of there for scraps. They make it difficult for decent people to earn a living. Of course, not many decent people live here in the first place. See for yourself. It's Ripton's name for the sewers beneath our feet. Absolutely disgusting. If you fancy keeping your purse filled with gold and your head on your shoulders, I'd stay out of those awful tunnels. Be careful looking for those teeth. 
Those little bastards are dangerous. Sure. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Until next time. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Don't tell me. Sibby and Louis Latrush? Well, Sibby is in jail, and Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. Really? Now that is interesting. Then you should know that Louis and I have a certain history. Tell you what. Go along with his plans for now. I'll keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with Louis. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. Okay, lad. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. This way, everyone. Over here. Come on, Brignol. What is it this time? Patience, Blanchet. This is it. crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great... See that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Please, please, I need, I can't take this place anymore. The trees, all the colors, the city's never so seen me dark. Old, upset about Why? The it city makes no sense. sense. The old told me that it isn't this bad everywhere. Maybe one day I'll venture out and see if she's right. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Smithing's been in my blood for generations. I owe my success to my forefathers and their recipe for flame. The secret is my forge. It consumes fire salts, a strange mineral that burns as hot as red mountain lava. Well, it was. Sadly, this forge is dying, and I've used the last of my fire salts. If I can't feed it soon, it may grow cold. You will? Thank you. Ten pinches of fire salt should give me all I need to bring this forge back to life. People say I'm making gold off of other people's misery, but what else would I do? Smithing is all I know. 
Next time one of my shields deflects a killing blow, they'll change their tune. A flame Atronox body might provide fire salt. They're dangerous creatures that can be summoned by wizards. Of course, it would be much easier to check with an alchemist. They occasionally have them for sale. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Mjols brought me nothing but safety and peace of mind, and some lessons with the blade. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. I have all sorts of interesting items for sale. Have you looked around? Catchy, isn't it? In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping up on you. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Seemed only fitting to name it after her. Well. Changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Coming to this city was a big mistake. <laughs> the question is, what isn't wrong with Riften? This city is corrupt, rotten to the core. No one cares about anything except themselves, and how much coin they can make off the misery of others. Authorities, have you been listening to what I said? They're all dirty, every one of them. The only way to get things done in this city is to keep your head down and pay off the right people. It's our name for the old sewers that run under the city. It used to be a huge system hundreds of years ago, but it fell into decay, just like the rest of Riften. The guild stalks the place full of thugs that aren't good enough to join. So watch yourself if you venture down there. All right, then. I run them, and what might you need? Hmm? They're reforming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. I've got your back. Lead on. Come to laugh at the grave tender? I can see that disapproving look in your eye. If you're trying to ask if I tend the Hall of the Dead alone, then the answer is yes. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. My father was a priest of Arkay. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. 
Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Windhelm, and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders and he'll take care of the rest. A priest of Arche is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. The thing is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. In some ways, I still don't. I had to, for honor's sake, but I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new high priest's dagger, but I already owned my father's. So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. Be cautious. The pilgrimage to the shrine is not an easy one. What is it you seek, my child? We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl, her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Mara Apanya. How may I help you, my son? Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. <coughs> yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace, love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times, but you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. <coughs> May you return to her benevolence and safety. Please. 
Welcome to Riften, home of the Thieves' Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. I've got your back. Lice, As you wish, my thing. Thugs, vermin creeping around the rat way. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Growlithe. Growlith. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my friends, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grow, and thank you for thank your you kindness. Very kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. We heading out? As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life.
drop. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? We're living in a sewer. You said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? Okay, okay. I'm going to check the entrance to the Ratway. Be right back. What was that?
This one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Stay out of trouble. Well, well. Trouble. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right. And I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Helga is a devout follower of Debella dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the Bee and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. I'll be... ...here when you're done.